Hi there. Hey, I found a little tool at a garage sale. Now, this tool, this is a saw. Now, this saw, you know, it, it might look a little dangerous, but it's got like a warning label on it, and you can adjust it. See, there's a screw and stuff. You can adjust for how deep it has to cut, and you can put this thing on a drill. So, what I'd want to attempt here at some point is, I want to build a house, so... I'm going to need a saw, and I'm not going to go out and waste money on a skill saw or anything like that. So, here, I'll even show you that it works. I'm going to put the phone up in here. There. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right in the drill like that. And tighten that up. Oh. Now, it could be dangerous. I almost cut myself there. So you don't want to do this unless you're an expert or something, or a craftsman at this kind of thing, like um, I'm, I'm trying to be. So here we go. I'm going to make a slice on this quarter-inch plywood. You got to tighten it a little bit. You know, that's how, that's how good tools are, you know. You have to tighten them up once in a while. I'm just going to make a slice across here. This will... That's most of the way through, but as you can see, that's going to save me some time too in building a house. See how quick that cut through that quarter inch plywood? Just imagine how that would cut through three quarter inch plywood or two by sixes. Yeah, and, that, and that's going to lead me to something else because in this Virus 19 book for dummies, all you need to know... I was reading in here the other day, and I found that the virus, it likes to sit into cars. And when people are driving down the road and they breathe in their car, and it goes out of the car, it, it comes into the air and then it comes in. Well, I found a way how to catch a virus in a car. Now, I, have anybody ever seen the movie Indian in the Cupboard? I think it came out in the 90s. What the little boy would do is he'd put something in the cupboard and it would come to life. He put an Indian in there and the Indian would come to life. He put army men in there and they would come to life. So that's what I did. Well, I'm going to have to wait till tonight, though, for, before they come to life. But what I did is, first of all, in the van I taped off, as you can see... I taped off, and well, I put masks over the vent. I taped off that vent, which is going to make the air come out of this vent. Now, as you can see, I got army men positioned. Now, this guy, now if he comes to life tonight, he's going to shoot that virus when he comes out of there. And you know what that guy will do. They're positioned all over the place. And I... I didn't call the governor to get the army to get the army men here because it takes them too long. So what I did is I just called them myself and and they came. And they came and they're and they're sitting here. And you might think that's a little extreme, but it really isn't. And again, I'm confused over certain things like um the difference between a rioter, a terrorist and a protester. Now, like, they, they say that the terrorists are, I mean, not a terrorist, but they say that the terrorists are protesters. Now, I looked up some definitions, and again, I was part of the grade in school that made the upper two-thirds of the grades possible. So, okay, a terrorist is a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of a political aim. Well, now that...
kind of fits, but again, I didn't do good in spelling or definitions in school, so I guess they are peacefully, mostly peacefully protesters, but a protester is a person who publicly demonstrates strong objection to something. A demonstration. Hmm. And a rioter, it's the violent disturbances of the peace by a crowd. Well, according to that, maybe some of the people that are reporting the things on the, the rioters and looters, or shall we say the peaceful protesters and stuff, I guess their definition is wrong, so, you know, maybe I'm right, but, well, I'm probably not, but, well, anyway, have a good night, and on Friday, I'm going to show you what I, these army guys caught, and it'll amaze you, I think. It'll be probably scary, so if you have children, please don't let them watch this on Friday, because it's, it's going to be a graphic display of, you know, virus catching. So, just, I would not let them watch it on Friday. Um, my wife probably, when we drive this van into town, she's probably going to be upset at the vents being blocked off because she likes the air conditioning. But we're after the virus, and that counts. That That's number one right now. So I'll see you Friday.